Northeast Conference football action from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where Central Connecticut State, the number 18 ranked team in the nation, knocks off Duquesne 43 to 10. A convincing performance by a team going to the NCAA playoffs, Jeff. And even though some of the stats in the first half were kind of close, you got the impression from the early going that the Blue Devils offense was going to do what it needed to do. Yeah, and you know, certainly they have the, the weapons to do it with Winchester being able to take the ball, whether he can throw it, he can run it, and just tells you, shows you how potent at that offense, but their defense also can play pretty good football. Yeah, that's for sure. They ran for over 200 yards on the day, and they got it going on the ground with the first score of the afternoon. They certainly did. You know, Exelholm Stanley on a four-yard run up the middle. And I tell you, listen, the offensive line played very well today because that offensive line is going to have to block going into the playoffs because they know they got to get their running game going to compete. Then they get a touchdown pass out of Aaron Winchester. He hits uh, Theo Zidor, the backup tight end. It's a 12-0 game after the first quarter. After a Duquesne field goal, another, another ground touchdown for Central. Well, yeah, you know, Central, they're, they're, they're going to try to get it done as much as they can. Winchester today didn't throw the ball, only threw it 20 times because they, they could run the football they, against a good Duquesne defense, showing that at their will they can do whatever they wanted to do. And E.C. Walker takes it in. Then Kellen Taylor for Duquesne, outstanding wide receiver, had a terrific season. He gets onto the scoreboard for the Dukes. Yeah, Broombaugh, he gets time to throw the football and to his favorite receiver. Six foot five, goes up for the ball, makes a great catch in the end zone, and then gets the first one touchdown for him. So it's 19 to 10 Central at the half, but then in the third quarter, Central starts to open things up. They get a 36-yard field goal out of Joe Zappi, and then the big play, Aaron Winchester hitting Tyshawn James for a 73-yard score, the longest pass play of the season for Central. Well, Tyshawn James, we talk about him all the time being a big play, big threat. Well, this was the play. The safety over the top, missed the tackle, nobody behind him. He goes down the field for 73 yards for a touchdown by from Aaron Winchester. Did you mention defense before? Yeah, I think you did because they get a pick six. Well, listen, the defense coming into this game, 26 takeaways on the season. They leave, they leave the season with 29 of them. De Exelholm, a touchdown, 87 yards. This is twice that he's done this. Him and his brother have scored touchdowns in the same game. Yeah, Dan Lee Exelholm, his brother, then running in for the final touchdown of the day. It was his second score. Yeah, 25-yard scamper on a play they've been running all game up the middle, just right into the end zone. So this goes to show you that this team is very well balanced. All three phases need to play well next week, heading into the playoffs. Complete dominance. Central Connecticut State wins its eighth in a row. They are the NEC champions, and they're going to the NCAA. Double A's knocking off Duquesne 43 to 10.